Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Elder Sign Omens. In our last episode, we did a marathon run and was able to banish the king in yellow, he who shall not be named. Um, it was a bit close near the end, but we were able to pull it off, and now we move on to the next one. Not a, not a great old one, but an outer god, Azathoth. The crawling chaos, the center of the universe, pretty much, in the Lovecraft world. 14 Elder Signs, so we're going to be having our work cut out for us. As you can see here, he needs 12, El uh, 12 uh, Doom Tokens to wake up. But sometimes during midnight, three you'll get three Doom Tokens added to the track, so we got to hustle to get these 14 before he wakes up. And this will all depend on the investigation team and a little bit of guile. So the survey says... Okay... We've got Marie Lambeau, who I believe we had during Yig. Once per Glyph Conjure, she can spend four trophies to change the Glyph into any result. Jenny Barnes. Uh, Jenny's awesome. Before conjuring Glyphs, Jenny may discard a common item, a spell, or a clue to gain the red and yellow Glyphs in one roll. Or in one adventure. We have Daryl Simmons. Once per Glyph Conjure, Daryl may add one to the result of an Investigation Glyph, up to the Glyph Color Max. And then Sister Mary is back, the Guardian Angel. Sister Mary will show him how it's done. She ignores locked glyphs and is immune from the nightly mythos effect. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Something terrible has begun to awaken within our museum. Yet again. All complaints have been ignored. All safety procedures gone astray. Azathoth's imminent return is causing bizarre events throughout the museum. If he isn't stopped, the entire world may be devoured. Collect 14 Elder Signs before the Doom Track is filled. So we have no dialogues right off the bat. That's good. We've got missing records. A storage closet. Something in the basement. Vermin in the pipes. Remains of the High Priest, and please do not touch the exhibits. So this is the only adventure that's going to give us Elder Signs. And it's costly. So, let's look at the gear that the other people have. No clues. Actually, right now, Marie would be the best one to deal with it. Now, this is going to be dangerous. The horrified expression on the thief's corpse was made all the more ghastly by his blue-tinged skin. Let's use the Ruby of Riley to get the red glyph. And here we go. Ah, that's not what we needed. Let's clue these and hope we get either a peril or a terror. Okay, there's our two terrors. And now, to be careful, we'll spell lock this peril. Oh, we got it! Huzzah! That's a good start. She doesn't have any items, but we now have two trophies and two Elder Sons. Twelve more to go. Ah, the Medusa exhibit. We'll get an Elder Sign from that. Jenny's dress is very form-fitting. Okay, that is... She has a lot of sanity, so we'll sacrifice this. Let's use her ability and sacrifice this yellow glyph to get both the yellow and the red. That's why she's awesome. So... Need a terror. We didn't get a terror. Let's go ahead and lock this lore. There's our terror. And good thing we locked the lore. Now we need seven investigation. Three, five, seven. Yellow glyph, spell lock, elder sign, and our first monster has shown up tonight. No glyph lock though, that's good. Okay, Daryl. There's something in the basement, and it is a Shoggoth. Its oozing mass envelops some exhibits and crushed others in its tentacles. 
Shoggoths were kind of the most one of the most horrible things that Lovecraft ever created. And flying polyps as well. Hallway on fire. Apparel and apparel. Take some life, but you get two uniques out of it. So we have nothing that's going to give us an Elder Sign right now. So I think we're going to go with Vermin in the Pipes. It's a lot of investigation, and that's right up Daryl's alley. Large rats occasionally wander into the museum, drawn by the impending chaos. I uh, don't want to use any glyphs just yet. Any items. There's our three investigation. There's our three investigation and apparel. Now all we need to roll is a two investigation, then we can pump it up with our ability. See, we have that, but just to show you. Yoink! And then it becomes a three. Two common items and a clue. Well, we are just on our way, aren't we? Now it's time for Sister Mary to get her holiness on. Still no uh, Elder Sign ventures. Hmm. Well, I guess, we'll, why not? Let's take the guided tour. The docket shared a number of I, I've never been able to pronounce that. I actually haven't ever heard it in a sentence. Um, anecdotes about the museum's own strange history. Here's our three investigation. And we need a four. Okay, here's our four. Do we have a spell lock for Sister Mary? That we do. We'll be using that now. For a clue, a peril common item, and another clue. So that's a pretty good first night, I'm thinking. Let's see what the midnight effect has to say to counter us. So we're 3 nil, And Doom plus 3. Told you. Azathoth does not play fair. And another monster has shown up. A Bayaki. I narrowly dodged the beast's grasp as it swooped towards me and then to the high window. We had the writing on the wall. Was that... That's another world adventure. Was that one who summoned a... Lots of lore. Is there anything else that'll just give us some items at reasonable expenditure? Doesn't look like it. So... Actually, I think I'm going to play this a bit conservatively. And we're going to buy a common item. For Marie. And let the others come in and test their metal. We're going to go ahead and sacrifice this. And we're going to go into the storage closet and get that other world adventure unlocked. So, we need to take care of the Bayaki first. Wow, two trophies for that. Good stuff. Investigation. Now we need two lures. Okay, there's the wild. We'll destroy that. Lock that. No lures yet. There you go. You're about to have me sweat a little. Got a monster killer, a clue, and a portal is opened. Let's see where we're heading. The archives have unlocked, and the dreamlands have opened. Okay, Daryl. You've got quite a few items here. That seems pretty easy. Yeah, we'll send Daryl in here. Why not? Those who dream travel elsewhere, down, down, down to the dreamlands. Let's see what we, if we can pull this off without having to use any of our items. Yeah! Nope, never mind. 
That was a error on my part. But not that was. That wasn't. Elder sign and two clues and two trophies. I'm hoping we can buy some trophies and end this, or buy some elder signs with some trophies and end this relatively quickly. Azathoth is one of the longer adventures I've found. And the archives have opened. Lore, 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 peril, three investigation for two uniques. Let's in, let's open another outer world adventure. Yeah, the words rewrote my past. Where I had succeeded, they told me of my failure and my sudden disappearance. That's probably very disconcerting. Aye, okay. So we have the peril and the investigation. We need a lure. So we will send all these to be rerolled. Got it. I am uncharacteristically optimistic about this. Um, Red Glyph, uh, Sanity Razor, Monster, and Portal. Let's see what... Okay, there's the monster, and the Plateau of Lang just showed up, which is a terror effect outer world. Okay, here comes Midnight. Let's hope for another three terror, or three uh, doom. That just tears us up. Okay, no mythos effect today. That's the <laughs> that's as good as you can get. She has the yellow glyph. Yeah, that's not happening. The archives summoned a witch. She crumpled the leaves into the glass vial and the room began to dark go dark. So let's try something relatively simple for her. Well, she could always go Shoggoth hunting. Sure, why not? With each step of the steeply descending staircase, my, I sank deeper into a crazed panic. Let's use this and hope we get some terrors. Hey, that's a dead Shoggoth. Groovy. Now... I'm gonna go ahead and use the terror, because that way we'll have these four to try and roll a lure. And we did it! There's a uh, red glyph and a clue, and another trophy, which is very important for her, for her special ability. Late night break in. Okay, Jenny. Where do you, where should you go? You wanna go monster hunting? Yeah, the rest of these guys have some stuff for the Frateau of Ling. Jenny's gonna head in here. She's gonna use... Oh, she can't use the red glyph. Okay. Well, we will, or she can't sacrifice her item to get both. We'll sacrifice one spell, why not? The archives. Look at all the fun shinies. The collection is not well documented. Who knows what's really in there? Let's go ahead and roll. And... Well, we may not have to use the monster hunter. Let's go ahead and just kill the witch outright. And re-roll. Hmm. Not what we were looking for. I don't want to use a eh, don't want to use a clue just yet. Let's go ahead and lock one of these lures. There we go. Is that the lure? The lure peril. Now we get need to get a lure three out of these three. Hey, hey. and a, all the uniques, all the things. Oh, there's Curator. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Our luck was getting too good. However, we got plenty of... Uh, we can get the yellow and the red glyph, and we have plenty of clues, so hopefully he'll go down quickly. Use the Lamp of Alhazred. 
There's our three. And no lure. We'll go ahead and lock that. There we go. You go away now. Elder Sign, Clue, and Tommy Gun. Okay, there's blood on the floor. We'll get another Elder Sign out of that. It's almost midnight. What should we do here? Plateau of Lang will remove an Elder... Oh, will remove a Doom Token and give us an Elder Sign. What's actually... Before we actually roll... Two health. No, we're not going to do that with... Sister Mary. I don't want to risk her. Let's do blood on the floor. That's a little bit... More conservative. Sometimes I get really anxious and I'll make a mistake like that. And then one of my investigators will end up dying. And everything starts to go wrong. Tell you what, let's go ahead and use the dynamite. And roll. Clear that. Investigation. Ooh, nothing that we needed. Let's go ahead and use a clue. And nothing that we needed. That's unfortunate. Nothing that we needed. I just need a terror. As long as I have a terror, I'm good. Okay, there's the skull. That's really not what I was going for there. Um... Ah, uh, I don't want to... No, I don't want to lock it. I want to go ahead and use this. And hope I get a terror. There we go. That's what I needed to see. Let's go ahead and try. Let's just... I didn't hold anything, did I? No, I didn't. Let's destroy the yellow glyph. Let's hold the terror and hope we get a peril out of this so we may not have to use that item. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Elder sign, clue common. Now we need to make a trophy count after this. Haunted by a shadowy figure. Marie looks so happy to be here. I wonder if she knows something we don't. Okay, just a monster. That's good. I can deal with that. And it wasn't a spell lock monster or a midnight. Oh, it's just a cultist. Hello, cultist. As the rope figure walked toward me, eyes grew with filled with malice. His chant grew louder. I think he actually might have made that one easier. The terror is you automatically fail the adventure, but a monster shows up, clue, common, elder sign. So, hmm. What's haunted by a shadowy figure? Terror, a monster appears. But then a monster appears and you get all that, so... We'll go ahead and go with that. Marie should be able to take that on. Oh, it's... That'd be terrifying to see that in your rearview mirror. Memories flooded my thoughts when I saw the thing. I knew that I deserved the awful death that it would bring. Eh, let's not. Ooh, nothing. Let's re-roll those. Perfect. It's a good little haul, but another monster shows up. I don't want to get... I don't want to get... Uh, there's a midnight effect, but I don't want to get um, overrun by monsters like we almost did in the some of the last adventures. Another cultist. Up to our armpits and cultists, and they're just only a peril to kill. At midnight, doom plus one. And we definitely do not want that. So, Jenny... What's the failing? Sanity and a doom... That actually looks like something that our trepid and porter or reporter would do better at. Yeah, because he can invest increase investigation. We're gonna wait for Daryl to take care of that. Let's look at our trophy count so far. Five, eight, five, and six. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and try the plateau of Ling. 
That's two sanity for losing it, but Jenny can take that. The Plateau of Ling was a cold, inhospitable place haunted by enormous spiders and a strange, misshapen people. I thought we had... Okay, I was trying to use her ability, that's why. We'll use the Sword of Glory. And here's our first task. Now we need a Lore Terror. I'll tell you what, man. I am I am not complaining with this str stroke of luck we've been having. We're at 8-2 right now. And, you know what? I'm going to try and go for 30 minutes. I'm going to see if we can finish this off in that amount of time. And if we don't, we don't. No worries. There's six. We'll go ahead and use the Tommy gun just to be safe since it's a midnight effect. There's our six. Now I just need two lures. Lock that one. Got it. Another another world adventure opens and two spell locks for Harold. And what's the the city of the great race? See, I didn't say waste this time. I'm proud of myself. How many do we get for you? Three and one. The koi pond gets one. Late night break in. Graveyard opens another Outer World adventure. Alright, sister. In you go. The, oh yeah, I already read that one in a previous episode. Let's break out the axe. And... Nothing really... I'm going to go ahead and use a clue and hope I get a terror out of these four. Nope. However, we did get that three, so I'll take that. Mmm, that's so close. Let's dispel that. Lock the peril. There we go. And a lore item, two red glyphs, and an elder sign. Getting closer, getting closer. Oh, it's midnight. What do you have for me, Azathoth? Doom plus one and a monster. It's not bad. Now, three monsters on the board. A Chthonian. The floor burst open, revealing a colossal mass of tentacles. Advance the clock and a seven investigation. That is no bueno. Uh, let's do the Koi Pond. Since uh, that cultist made it easier. The golden fish were barely visible through the murky water. Then I saw other larger shapes moving beneath the surface. We'll use nameless cults. And we are going to, actually, I'm going to go ahead and use her ability. We're going to use four glyphs and turn this, actually, into a peril. That's what I needed. And peril, peril, terror. That's a nasty ability when you, oh, that's not good. I'd like to re-roll all of these, thank you. There we go, that was better. An Elder Sign and another monster. Kill a monster, gain a monster. And the Hedge Maze, maze just opened up. So late night break in, that's fine. Hallway on fire. Ooh. Vampire. I hid beneath the door or behind a door, but the beast wasn't fooled. It could smell my blood. 
Nosferatu. Okay. It's definitely, we need more Elder Signs. And it looks like this is the only one that's going to give one to us, so... Let's look at her normal items. She has the red glyph. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to head in here. I would like to go monster hunting, but I really don't want Azathoth to start catching up to us. Here we go. Here's a peril. And a peril. And now we just need the peril 2. Unique, a common, elder sign, and another monster. Oh, this one had a dialogue. There's the actual elder sign. Who? What is it? Her. Oh, it's the high priest. That's not too bad. Come on, Daryl, you've been a champion for me this game. There are some with knowledge of the museum's mysteries who would use these secrets for their own selfish purposes. Heavens no. Let's roll. There's the red die lock gone. And here's our investigation. Now we just need apparel. Got it. We are just beating the absolute crap out of Azathoth. That makes sense though, because Azathoth is insane and actually isn't really aware of any of us in the Lovecraft mythos. It's his herald we need to wake, uh, need to watch out for, and we'll actually be taking him on in a future adventure, or a future, uh, yeah, future campaign. Tempest in a teapot. That's an elder sign, right? Okay, this way, Sister Mary. We did this during He Who Shall Not Be Names campaign. There's four. Oh, nothing there. Let's re-roll. Hope for a terror. There we go. And now we need a lore and a peril. Actually, I just need a peril. And just to be safe, since we're near the end... Elder Sign Clue Common. It's the loading dock. What do you got for me, boss? Just Doom Plus One. Oh, we are getting so lucky this game. Normally, there are times I have played against Azathoth where every midnight I was getting three Doom, just one right after the other. And it, it was killing me, man. Uh, how many do we need here to banish him? We need 14, so just two more. What's our trophy count? 12? Haha. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? You are gonna sit pretty. You're gonna spend your trophies to heal up. Because we are all are about to take a nice vacation to the beach. Don't even have to worry about a thing. We're going to use 10 trophies to buy an Elder Sign. And Daryl, you've been such a good, good investigator for me. You will do the same. Look at that. And the world is saved. Once again. Oh, by the by, a quick correction, because I realized that while watching the that little video. Uh, the Crawling Chaos is not Azathoth. That is actually his herald, Nyarlithotep, um, who will be taking on an adventure called the Dark Pharaoh in a campaign. So, um, I really forgot what um, Azathoth's kind of uh, nickname was, but he's just nasty, basically. 
So, 5,040. That is an amazing score. 22 investigator tur turns, 39 items gained, 44 tasks completed, 19 adventures completed, 6 monsters killed, 3 other worlds opened, 14 elder signs earned, 8 empty doom slot tokens, or doom slots, and an ancient one sealed away with no incapacitated investigators. Whew. Let's go ahead and put on our uh, Azathoth and to the main menu. As normal, let's see who's next. Well, here we go, guys. It's time to answer the call in our next episode. Gonna take on Cthulhu himself, and it's a little bit different from where we've been going before. We're actually going to be leaving the museum and heading out into the Pacific Ocean. What could go wrong, right? But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll catch you next time. Later days, everyone.